my dear so in this video tutorial you are going to learn about a concept the new concept which I haven't shared till now in my video tutorials so it's all about you know it's all about free body diagram so probably you have heard this topic that's why you have landed on this page or maybe you have landed on this page really okay I don't know how you have come to this page <coughs> so free body diagram right so what is basically free body diagram you need to understand first second you need to implement the concept of free body diagram in this numerical problem actually this problem has been asked in gate 06 2006 for two marks and I'm sure you know the value of two marks in gate, right? So you don't want to lose marks, I think. So even one mark, if possible, for you to get it. So in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you each and everything and the real concept to solve the problem quite easily. Okay. So the, all these things, these values are given in kilonewton. So because I don't get that much uh, space here, that's why I have unwritten. Okay. So let me use different band <clears throat> so what happened we have to balance here all load and you know compressive load is here tensile load is here we have to balance and here we have given this is p it's not working p q r and s okay so what we have to do first for using the concept of free body diagram we have to split all these three bodies and three parts are here we have to split so what I am doing basically I'm going to split this one so PQ is here another one is QR is here hope you can see quite easily without putting effort and this one is RS so this one is the first part this one is the second part and this one is the third part so before going to implement the concept of free body diagram we have to separate all parts as possible for us and in this question what we have to find out the value of stress in the QR you should not forget that right so we have to find out the value of stress in QR maybe the black pen is not working it's working okay so what we have to do first we have to find out the pinpoint thing what is the meaning of pinpoint thing that means we have to find out first one value only if in the pq if this side is 63 kilo newton that means in the opposite side in the opposite direction i mean if this side this direction this side should be this direction there would be same load will be acting are you getting my point now now we have to see in the point q and in this space what is happening here that in this direction we have 35 kilo newton load is acting if we'll add these two suppose that i am going to add these two right q is the point without putting any load here how much would be remaining here 63 kilo newton so what we have to do we have to do something we have to just minus this to get 35 kilo newton okay we have to do minus something that value some, some value we have to minus from this value to get 35 kilo newton so how much we have to get 63 minus 35 so we have to do we have to add 28 kilo newton in this direction in the opposite direction of 63 to have if you minus this then what will have 35 kilo newton that means if you add these two part one and part two will get that value 35 kilo newton if did not you are not getting then just repeat what i said you will definitely get what i am talking once you understood this concept then free body diagram is nothing for you it's just like that you can easily solve problem in this topic it's really simple once you will understand the concept which I have just taught if you understood it you can easily solve the problem it's quite easy man now after doing this 
if it is in this direction then there should be some opposite direction the same load will be acting why it is happening that's because of balancing without this we cannot have this part it may be thrown away somewhere else it will may be gone to space if it will be more than the escape velocity that is uh, 11 kilometers per second okay so we have done with part one we have done with part two now from this only we can find out the answer we can find out the answer because we have given the cross sectional area is 700 mm square okay already given this and subjected to this so we have to find out stress stress is what sigma is equal to force by area what is force what is the value of force here 28 kilo newton and area is 700 into 10 to the power minus 6 yeah you can see right now so what is happening here 28 you can see yeah 20 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 700 into 10 to the power minus 6 so how much getting how much values i'm getting basically 40 after 40 we are getting six zeros that means 40 mega pascal just see the answer here yeah c is the right answer after doing this you can mark the right answer but because we are not sitting in the examination so we will understand the whole concept that's why you will not face any kind of problem okay now just like here what i did i am going to share with you the same staff which i just shared with you here if you did not get it right now i mean in that time right now just consented pay attention and listen to me very carefully just right now what i am going to talk about this what i am going to do here to make it like this balance now don't do anything just add these two after adding what will get at this r 28 kilo newton which is not given here which is not given here remember that it is not given here it is here uh, you know if it is this side this side now there should be some 20 and 49 kilo newton there should be okay so how we can do that that there should be 49 kilo newton okay the direction is different yeah this side only the question direction is different so there should be no this direction there should be 49 kilo newton would be acting but here how much acting right now if we we'll add 28 so 28 plus how much will become 49 simple simple just like he was studying in class 6 or 7 so how much value required for that it's 21 kilo newton so after doing this you don't need to think about anything you just need to add this side only because this side this side will be addition so 29 kilo newton now add these two values and for r what we are going to get 28 plus 21 49 kilo newton now after doing this don't think about anything else it if it is compressive just put it compressive 21 kilo newton that's it now this is it but one thing is one more simple step i would like to share with you don't need to even do this step just look at here how much is acting this side 21 so definitely there should be acting 21 kilo newton so that means the what is the most important thing you need to find out here we need to find out the value here once you did it the problem has been solved it's not that much difficult well they in gate i think they have asked right now in 2004 also they have asked the same question from this free body diagram well i'm not going to repeat that question because that question is quite easy and this one is also easier as i have shared with you till now uh, i mean in this video only so this is really simple okay so how to get all these things together in you i mean how to get all these things how to remember the thing is that you need, need to just need to know how to balance things once you will come to know how to balance then it's easier because almost everybody knows what is the formula of stress what is the formula of strain if you are going to write gate examination definitely you know i think so even 12 class student can tell you the formula of stress but what make you difference from what make you differ or what make you uh, make you out of the crowd 
that is practice if you will practice a lot the problem with by using the formula you will you will have different concept to solve the problem so this is all about practice and of course the concept you need to have to solve the problem i hope you understand something from this video thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye